welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Molly McGuire, and this is my channel that I do a lot of beauty, lifestyle, um, and a little bit of fashion. I also have an Instagram and a blog. Um, my blog is mollybeautyandlifestyle.wordpress.com and um, my Instagram is mollybeautyandlifestyle. So you can go ahead and follow me there and if you do that, then you get updates on when I'm going to upload. There's also usually blog posts that go along with a lot of my videos. Um, one of my most recent blog posts that is up for you to check out is a post about straight leg jeans and how I feel about denim and finding the right denim for you. So if you are looking for some denim, then you can head on over there. So today's video is going to be my tips for gym intimidation or just being intimidated by the gym, especially if you are a beginner to going to the gym. I think that this is definitely going to be a video for you. So there are a lot of tips out there on YouTube, on social media, um, and I think that that's awesome. I think that it's super awesome that when I am in the weight room now, I'm surrounded by other really awesome girls and people who are just starting out at the gym. And I fully encourage if you have been thinking about joining a gym, just like joining the cheapest gym around and going because I think that it's a place of community, it's um, a place to work on your health, and I just, I have had great experiences. I go to the gym mostly for my mental health, and that is my first tip for everyone who's watching this, is to figure out why you're going to the gym. Why do you want to be there? And if you don't know, then you're going to feel intimidated and you're not going to want to go. So figure that out, whether it's you want to lose weight, whether it's you want to gain muscle, your overall well-being, figure out why you are going to the gym and why you are going to be there. Because once you have that, no one can intimidate you out of saying, no, you shouldn't be here because you shouldn't want to improve your mental health or improve your overall well-being. That's something that is internal and that's something that you can remind yourself of if you feel out of place. So something that I have always utilized is the hats and headphones and cute clothes. And this seems so silly. And it seems kind of vain too, to be like, oh, if I look good, I'm gonna feel good. Or why would I wear cute clothes if I'm just gonna work out and feel really gross? And if how you dress does not affect how you feel, then by all means, skip over this completely. Um, but, for me personally, if I feel really comfortable and confident in what I'm wearing and how I look, then I'm going to feel really comfortable and confident when I am at the gym or when I am at a job interview or when I'm at work. It's really reflective on my overall feeling if I feel good in what I am wearing. And so that's where the cute gym clothes come in. Now. Do you have to go out and invest in the super trendy, cute Gymshark leggings? No, I would actually recommend you don't because they give you a huge camel toe. But if you like the tops that really suck you in and yeah, they're tight, but they like make you look maybe a little bit more muscular than you are, then go ahead and spend a little bit on like one gym outfit. So that one day out of the week, maybe you even wear it a few times in the week and wash it, you feel really comfortable and confident. And then I always tell people, especially my friends, about hats and headphones. So a hat is like the blocking out the haters, like you put it on and you don't see anyone, and you can just focus on yourself and, and not worry about anything around you. I also think it's really a nice way if you like feel really gross and sweaty, you can cover your face. When I was running, I'd never wore headphones. It wasn't in it. I played sports. You wouldn't wear headphones if you were going on a run with your team. You would talk, you would chat. I used to run with my sister a lot and I just never wore headphones. And the first couple of times I went to the gym, I just brought them with me because everybody else had them. And I would put them in, but I wouldn't listen to anything, which is kind of funny um, when I think about it now. But I actually started to use them 
imagine that but use them as a way to block everything out and to also like get me kind of hyped and kind of pumped to be there and so i would highly recommend a nice pair of headphones bluetooth headphones are best because the cord doesn't get caught on anything to wear at the gym that you can listen to some really awesome music or a podcast so that's my thing about headphones One of my biggest tips that I always tell my friends when they ask me questions about the gym is I say, learn how to use all the machines and learn how to use a lot of the weights. And whether that's through asking a friend, which I am totally game at giving my knowledge to my friends or watching a bunch of YouTube videos, which I also watch to get new workouts, to get some inspiration, to see how someone else is doing something, to make sure that my form is good um, and things like that. And then also you can just ask someone at the gym. So usually if you join a gym, they'll show you how to use the machines for free, or maybe you're part of a gym, but you never lifted weights or you really just stayed on the treadmill because you didn't know how to use the other stuff. Just ask, and I used to work at a gym, and I know that anytime a client asked us how to use something, we were more than willing to tell them. Mostly because we were bored because we were just sitting at the desk checking people in, and we wanted to get up and show you how to use these things. Where you don't need to spend a lot of money on a personal trainer to get the confidence to work out on your own. My other tip that I like to tell people is to go at a time when the gym isn't busy. So maybe you can't do that every day. I know personally I have to go at 5, 5.30 when everybody else is going because that's when it works in my schedule or else with work I would have to get up at like 3.30 in the morning and then I'd have to get there because I work so early. And so 5.30 is like, that's my time. 5.30 p.m., totally my time. But when I was starting out, I used to go to the gym pretty late at night, especially when I was starting out in college because I was working out next to all of these like college athletes and I didn't play sports anymore. So I felt really out of shape. And so I would go at like 7 p.m. and I would work out. I would eat like a super fast dinner and then I'd go to sleep. And that was like my routine. And then when I got more confident, I started going earlier and earlier to when more and more people were there or on the weekends. Most people won't go to the gym on a weekend. They especially won't go to the gym on a Saturday and get up at 7 a.m. So if you think to yourself, mm, I can't, I can only go at 5.30, try going to the gym at seven on a Saturday and you will find there's no one there. They cannot intimidate you and you can just try some of the things out that you've been meaning to try out. So last thing that i have and i think that this came from carly ruena and she says this a lot is that everybody in the gym is focused on bettering themselves and on themselves so to remind yourself that people aren't focused on you and to think about the fact that you're so focused on yourself and everybody else around you is doing the same thing and they're not thinking about you they don't have time to think about you because they're so concerned with themselves and so to remember that, that everybody's going to the gym, not to hate on the people around them, but to actually do something for themselves. And you can do that too. And you can be a part of that. Those are my tips for gym intimidation. Um, I guess that's what I'll call it. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to write them down below in the comments. Let me know what your best tips are for gym intimidation, because I think that this is something that a lot of people deal with. Even when you feel really comfortable at the gym, you can deal with this. And so let me know. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.